Hey friends, today I am dining at Delmonico's Italian Steakhouse. This place has a reputation for serving up perfectly seared steaks and delicious pasta dishes and then pairing them together. And I feel like that creates the perfect recipe for an amazing dining experience. Anywho's, let's go do this. This restaurant is located right here on International Drive in Orlando, Florida, and it's kind of near the Orlando Premium Outlet, so I think after dinner we might swing over there and check out Disney's Character Warehouse and see if they got anything fancy going on. This restaurant is straight from upstate New York, and they only have a couple locations. Most of them are upstate New York, except for this one right here in Orlando. So you can only dine at these places if you're either in New York or Orlando. And I just think it's such an amazing concept. A good mixture between a steakhouse and an Italian restaurant. And it also gives you kind of that really awesome gangster vibe. And I think my fedora is gonna fit in pretty well here. I like how they have a little sign outside that says, We like the way you look tonight. Casual welcome. Casual attire with some serious food. Now that I'm at my table, I want to give you guys a look around the restaurant because it is so cool in here. It is definitely like that Italian vibe and I love it. It's got great Italian music and tons of celebrity characters all over the walls. Look at this, this is the Rat Pack room. How awesome is that? I love this. <laughs> Dean Martin, Joey Bishop, Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra. This is such a cool place. And look at the chandelier right in the middle there. They also have a standalone Sinatra room that looks so classy. I kind of want to sit in there, but it's a big, big table. Look at this. Isn't this really cool? And it's got tons of pictures of Frank Sinatra and then some really cool celebrities. I'm really loving this. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Oh, wow. Look at that one right there. That is nice. Enough with showing around the restaurant. Let's get to the menu and decide what we're going to get to eat because this is a big menu. And I'm excited to eat because this looks so good in here. And you can see here the menu is massive. So many different offerings. And they actually have a daily specials list too. But what I think I'm gonna end up getting is the famous Delmonico's Delmonico Steak. A one and a half pound, 24 ounce certified Angus beef center cut ribeye steak. And this is so amazing. And it actually pairs up with penne marinara and it's only $34.99. So you get a little pasta and you get a little steak all in one now the pasta is basically your side so you don't get any sides with it but you can add to it so I'm sure we're gonna customize it a little bit the Delmonico is a very delicious steak and it's a lot more flavorful because there's fat inside of it and I'm going all the way in probably Pittsburgh style I like a little bit mid rare in the center and charred on the outside and this is gonna be phenomenal like I am so excited for for it and they also have some really cool other dishes on the menu that I want to point out that maybe I'll come back and try another day. Here is a look at some of the other things they offer on the menu. They've got pork chops de Nero, a filet Sinatra, lobster tail dinner for $39.99 and then over here they've got chicken Sinatra, fettuccine Delmonico, homemade meatballs, hot peppers, Oh wow, so many amazing items and you can customize things like I said, we're going pasta and steak and that's why we're getting the Delmonico, but even though I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think it's awesome because the table I'm sitting at, I'm staring at Francis Ford Coppola and Tony Bennett. Isn't that so cool? And this is the bar area itself. See everything just kind of gives you that old Italian vibes, even the bar stools. I do have to say a big thank you to the O'Brien family because they pointed me in this direction. They are from upstate New York and this is like one of their local places. So thanks guys. Before I get my meal, I decided to get some soup. They have pasta fajoul, they have zuppa, they have clam chowder, and I think I'm gonna go with the zuppa. I wouldn't mind a little chicken and meatballs and some nice homemade chicken broth. Like these are homemade soups, so I'm excited. Gotta try the soup whenever it's homemade. I asked for the gabagool, but they didn't have any gabagool, so I'm just gonna get with the zuppa. 
And here is the soup. Holy moly, look at this. That looks so phenomenal, doesn't it? Oh my lord, this might be my new favorite soup and I haven't even eaten it yet. Like I have that high of an expectation just from the looks alone. It is a very hot day out today, but this soup is just too good. I mean, I know I'm gonna love it, so look at that chicken, hold on. Look at that chicken. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I can officially say this is my favorite soup I've ever had. I mean, it is that good, like legit. Holy moly. I gotta get myself a little meatball. I love Italian wedding soup, but this, this is just right out of there. This is a home run. Along with the amazing soup, we get a nice bread service. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks good. And we'll definitely use this bread to soak up the steak juice and the pasta sauce. So we're gonna double do it. But I have to say, just from the soup alone, I already know my meal is gonna be amazing. Like this is the best soup I've ever had. And without further ado, here it is, the main course, the Dalmonico. Look at this bad boy. Charred just the way I like it. I can't wait to cut on the inside. And then we've got rigatoni with meatballs over there. Now this is the side. So you get the pasta with your steak, but I asked for the meatballs because they're homemade meatballs. I gotta try the meatball if I'm here. So I think that's an additional uh, $5 maybe, but you can't beat that. So then what is this? Almost $45 for this huge meal? And look at the size of the steak. 24 ounces, 24 ounces. I think I'm gonna try a little rigatoni with sauce first. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little go here. And then I'm gonna cut into the steak. I can't wait. Oh. That is so good. Homemade sauce, homemade noodles, homemade meatballs. Let's take a look. Oh my lord. No way. Oh, this is, this is too good. <laughs> Much too good, I would say. Here goes the meatball. <laughs> that is a great meatball. I absolutely love it. Now we're gonna have to hop right on into this bad boy. I'm gonna give you a nice little steak knife and I cannot wait to try this. Let me know in the comments how you guys like your steak, but this is how I love my steak. Pittsburgh style, nice and burnt or charred on the outside with a pink mid-rare, rare center. Oh, look at all that fat. This is what we were talking about, how Delmonico's have a much more flavorful taste. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this steak might seal the deal for one of my new favorite restaurants here in Orlando. We're about to find out. It is one of those steaks that can bring a tear in your eye. It really could. <laughs> so, so good. And you get a great combination. Little pasta, little steak, a little meatball, little steak. Oh, you can't win. This is a dream. I'll tell you guys something. My Uncle Orazio, well, we called him Uncle Ori for short. He would never eat pasta without putting his napkin in his shirt. And anything that was spaghetti or angel hair, he always had to have a spoon. So I'm gonna tuck in the napkin for my Uncle Orazio. <laughs> Everything is just so good. I keep on hopping before a little steak and then a little pasta, then a little steak and then a little meatball. And then, ooh, I'm gonna eat a little steak, pasta and meatball in one bite. A little steak and a little bit of pasta and meatball. <laughs> Now, I do recommend if you don't like a lot of fatty like on your steak, I wouldn't go with a Delmonico, maybe a filet or they have a New York strip, but that's what a Delmonico is. It's very fatty, it's very flavorful, and I love it, and it pairs great with the pasta. And just like I said, you save that bread to clean the plate. Get it all nice and clean and perfect. 
This is one seriously delicious meal here. Holy moly. <laughs> I finished up all the pasta and I'm gonna take home the bread with me and also a little bit of the steak is left over. That was a big, big meal, but I wanted to save room because I'm pretty sure we got some tiramisu. I really love this steak, but the fact that they had so many homemade items, homemade meatballs, homemade sauce, I think that's what really makes this place special. And the, the, just the combination too. How many places do you go, you get like a nice gigantic steak with a side of pasta with it. You know what I mean? So like that's what kind of makes it special and unique from other places. Uh, other than that, I really love this place. And now I'm gonna try the tiramisu, or tiramisu. Wow, I was not expecting this gigantic tiramisu. Look at this, it is gigantic. Now, I don't know what kind of tiramisu this is gonna be. Now, there are different types. This one might be more on the sweet side compared to the uh, cheesy side. We'll find out once we take a bite, but I'm gonna cut right on in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those lady fingers on there. You can see the coffee soaked right in there. Here it goes. You get a nice, real strong coffee taste in there. And that's how I like my tiramisu. That was so delicious and such an affordable price. Like compared to like the Disney bubble itself, uh, the, the Delmonico and pasta steak was $34.99. $34.99, you got the pasta and the steak. You add the meatballs, it's $5 more. Now you're looking at $40. We got the soup and then the dessert. It was just around $50. And that was like three courses. It was, it was soup entree side and it's like four courses because you got the meatballs and dessert so you can't go wrong at all with that and i'll definitely be back this was this was a great experience so now let's go uh, do a little shopping maybe and here we are the orlando premium outlets i feel like i haven't been here in ages so it's gonna be nice to actually go in and see what they got at the disney character warehouse also i'm looking for a new pair of shoes maybe if you're not sure what the Disney Character Warehouse is, it is a heavily discounted Disney Parks merchandise spot. You can buy magic bands, t-shirts, everything that you can get in the parks, you can get it here cheaper, but it's just really hard to get into. It doesn't have a lot of stuff, and it's basically like first come, first serve. So it's not like, uh, the easiest shopping experience is the best way to put it. In fact, actually, it looks completely different since the last time I've been here. I mean, look at this. It's got an all new entryway to the food court. Very fancy. Looks clean and nice. Wow. For a while there, I know they were doing a virtual queue. So I don't know if they're still doing it, but we're going to go find out. I highly suggest if you plan on doing shopping here, go here first and Put your name in if there's a virtual queue or just do your shopping first because things go pretty quick inside this store. Oh wow, looks like we got a storm of brewing here though. Holy moly. Holy moly, those trees are really rocking there. And it seems that they are still doing the virtual wait list. So I've already put my number in. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it closes at nine o'clock. So it's not gonna be longer than two hours. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go uh, wait around, do some shopping around the outlets. Look for some sneakers. I hope we don't get stuck in the rainstorm though. Oh, you know what? Some of the area is actually covered though. So we might be uh, lucking out here. I was gonna go shop around, but I just got my text back. So that means uh, I'm ready to go. It wasn't even like a 10 minute wait. Like that's really awesome. I thought I was gonna have to wait it out like 45 minutes, but we're good to go. Now we can see what good things we can find. A lot of great deals here always. And I'm excited, maybe we'll get some new shirts. Um, also, they're playing the Goofy Movie soundtrack in here. And that's like all that matters. We got some really cool t-shirts here. Look at Emperor's New Groove. How about the Moonlight Magic shirt, 2020? That is so awesome. I'm not too sure how much the shirts are. Oh, $9.99. That's not too shabby at all. Actually, I think they're all $9.99, except for Kermit. He's 
looks like we got some Disneyland spirit jerseys here. Ooh, this one's very fancy. These are Disneyland too, not Disney World even. And they are $44.99, which is, it's actually a lot cheaper than they are in the parks. Because in the parks, they're almost $60, $65. And they also have this spirit jersey here too for the same price. $19.55. Disneyland, look at that. Oh, these are actually two per person, so you can't even go buy in a lot of them. My mom and sister are also coming down in, uh, I think, just about a week and a half, two weeks. So if we see any magic bands or some things for them, it's a lot easier to bring them over here than buying stuff in the park. So I'm going to keep my eye out for things for them as well, but also some things for me too. I would love to get any of these attraction shirts. They have the Hollywood Tower Hotel shirt right here. This one is so cool but it looks like it's all mediums and smalls. Oh, dang it, $14.99. And then the three caballeros right here. This one is uh, medium, 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 all medium and smalls. Oh, and then 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. See, these are really good shirts. And they also have sweatshirts like Pizza Planet. Oh, and these windbreaking jackets. Oh, I like these. I don't like the sound it makes though, but that's a cool Mickey. Take a look at these cool shorts. They've got monorails on them, log flumes, Space Mountain. These are really awesome. These are $7.99 and they also have gray ones or like neon green ones. These are really cool. I would get these and they have a bunch of different types either. They also have a lot of cool housewares and mugs and stuff like that. So we'll look at that. Also backpacks. I've seen a lot of cool bags that they have here. And everything is like reasonably priced though. That's like the coolest thing. $10 coffee mugs. You got the Disney Cruise Line, Donald, Pandora right here. I do like this Pandora one. And it was regular $14.99, so you're saving five bucks on it. And then you got the BB-8 Sipper right here. I don't know how much this is. I don't think this is $9.99. Oh, this is only $7.99. That's even better, $7.99. I don't know if it lights up, but that's probably gonna be hard to carry around and drink though. Feels a little top heavy. I also like these ABC mugs, and these are all the different alphabets, like mugs, but Disney themed. So for instance, this looks like it's an L, and oh yeah, this one's an L, and it's like Pride Rock with Lion King, and then you got a K, and then an R, and it's like a riverboat there. See, these are really, really nifty. Oh, look at this Pirates one. What is that, X though? Like, I think that's X, right? Well, now I feel like a fool because it says it on the bottom. R is for river boats. L is for Festival of the Lion King. And this is an X, and it's X for as in like X mocks the spot. <laughs> X mocks the spot. X mocks the spot for Pirates of the Caribbean. And these are only $9.99. I'd love to see an N. Oh, is that S for Soren? <gasps> wow, that is a cool one. S for Soren. There's no N. What would the N be though? N for Nautilus? I don't know. Ooh, Z for Zerg. That's a cool one too. Or for Orange Bird. And then also, this one I think I like a lot. Look at that. B for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. No N. Oh, there is an N. <gasps> N is for Nemo. That totally makes sense. The seas with Nemo and friends. Maybe I should get it. I low-key wish like N was for Nautilus for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I think that would have been amazing. Or N for something else. Nemo isn't my favorite attraction. I mean, it's a great attraction, but it's not like something I'd be like, yeah, that's me. And it kind of makes me a little sad. I wish I had a cooler thing. What do you think yours would be? So like, let me know in the comments, like what goes well with each like alphabet. Like say you're Mary, what would M be? You know what I mean? Like that's a fun game actually. Wow, and it seems like they're all attractions too. They also have a couple really nice girls shirts here too. Oh, these are $19.99. Hercules, Kermit and Miss Piggy, Fantasmic or Actually, this is a fantastic. This is Mistress of All Evil. Oh, oh, and then this is the Seven Doors: Grumpy, Bashful, Sleepy, Happy, Sneezy, Dopey, and Doc. I like that. Oh, I like this font. That's really nice. I would wear that. <laughs> 19.99. Why are all the girls shirts 19.99? Oh, birds of a feather. I don't know. I just like getting excited whenever I see things like that. <laughs> They also have Halloween tote bags for like 
that'd be nifty for my mom and my sister whenever they come in. Yeah, $5.99 because then they can carry around their stuff. And they're going to be here during uh, the uh, Halloween after hours, so might as well. I like these back in the day plate sets. Four plates, it's $19.99 and look at them. Like this one's really nice, it's Mickey Mouse and it says old oh boy. And then somewhere in there, they have this mini one that says, I can't really see what it says, have a cherry good day? Is that what this is? A cheery, oh, have a cheery good day. <laughs> cherry, <laughs> that's so funny. But $19.99 and there's four different ones and they're all right on the front there. Have a cherry good day. A couple of other cool things that I noticed. I like this keychain because it's Cinderella Castle. And look, it actually goes from night to day with fireworks. Isn't that really nifty? I don't know exactly how much this is. Oh, it's $5.99. That's not too bad. That's pretty. Look at this Main Street popcorn cell phone case. And it has little, like, fake popcorn in there. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. It's like a little satchel, too. You can strap it on. $44.99, but it's, uh... I think it's only $3.99 here. But look at that. I've never seen anything like that. Well, it looks like I'm going to be leaving empty-handed. There really wasn't anything that caught my fancy. I mean, there was a couple of items, but if you really don't need it, I really shouldn't buy it. I thought about getting the bag for my mom and sister, but I'd much rather them to do shopping when they come down here because they like to go shopping and stuff like that. I mean, it's nice to get gifts, but they probably would enjoy coming and doing shopping on their own. And uh, a couple shirts too, but nothing really in my size. And also the mug. If it was something other than Nemo or like... And for Soren, but I guess that wouldn't make any sense. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed me trying some food outside of Disney. Let me know in the comments if you guys like that and if you want to see some other local spots. I'm happy to go to them. This one was really, really good and it was everything that I liked in one. So, uh, yeah, I guess that'll do it for me. Anywho, we'll see you next time. Bye.